So I was about 20 years old, and the year was 1960, and I was confronted with uh, customers in industries which I had no education or growing up in. Uh, I, I didn't know their business very well. And, and we were getting new computers and uh, programming methods and operating systems. And uh, these were themselves very new. Nobody knew, nobody had an experience, no, but nobody really had any training. And so long story short, the system was, the situation was so complex that I used my common sense, which said, do things one step, little step at a time, move forward, make sure it works. If it works, ratchet it in, take the next step. If it doesn't work, analyze why it doesn't, fix things up, try again, and move ahead safely one step at a time. In other words, uh, take everything one safe step at a time and move towards delivery of results to the customer. My common sense told me that was the only way I could possibly handle it because everything was new and everything was complex. And that worked, that my, my, you know, my intuition served me well. Uh, uh, most of the people who signed the Agile Manifesto, people like Kent Beck, Mike Cohn, Jeff Sutherland, they specifically in writing and publicly have said that what I wrote, I wrote about this method called Evo in, uh, you know, decades earlier, and they were inspired by it to, you know, uh, coin the term Agile and start marketing it on a higher level. Okay, so... In other words, I was doing it intuitively. As I said before, so were lots of people. Almost everybody in programming was doing something very close to it. And uh, uh, it, 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 you know, it worked very well compared to people who were doing, let's say, large government projects with a waterfall model and failing. You know, they'd spend years and millions and they would fail. So we learned that the method worked, and I started writing about it. So I started writing about it in the 70s in uh, uh, new, uh, com, you know, Computer World, Computer Weekly, and um, in books like my software metrics book published 1976, very explicitly. So I've, and I've been writing about it and teaching about it all my life. But, but the, so the guys who popularized it and turned it into a, um, a commercial business called Scrum and Safe and these things, they explicitly credit me with having been a large part of their inspiration and the first person to actually do this and to present it. So in other words, I didn't learn it from somewhere. I learned it from intuition and practical work. I published it and other people uh, picked it up and commercialized it. I didn't commercialize it. <laughs>